Dear students, in the last video, we have seen how to find an term of an arithmetic progression. Now today, we learn how to find the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. So, let us see here, sum of first n terms of an AP. In an AP, if A is the first term, and B is the common difference, then the sum Sn is given by the formula Sn is equal to n upon 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And then second the alternate formula, when first and the last term of an AP is given, then we can use this formula to find the sum of the n terms. Sn is equal to n upon 2 bracket a plus tn where n is number of terms and tn is the last term of the AP and sn is sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. So we will use this formula to solve practice set 3. practice set 3.3 first example. First term and the common difference of an AP are 6 and 3 respectively find S27. Now here first thing we have to write the given thing. The first term is denoted by A. The first term of an AP is 6. D common difference D is equal to 3. We have to find S27 where n is equal to 27 and s27 we have to find sum of first 27 term. So we have the formula sn is equal to n upon 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into t. Therefore s27 is equal to n is equal to 27 upon 2 into 2 into a a is equal to 6 plus n minus n is equal to 27 minus 1 into d is equal to 3. So put the values in the given formula. Now therefore s27 is equal to 27 upon 2 into 2 6 is 12 plus 27 minus 1 26 into 3 which is equal to S27 is equal to 27 upon 2 into 12 plus 26 into 3 6 3 is 18 1 carry into the 6 70 Therefore, S27 is equal to 27 upon 2 into 12 plus 78, that is 90. Now here we can divide this 90 by 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 2 5s are 10, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10. Therefore, S27 is equal to 27 into 45. So multiply 27 into 45, after multiplying this 27 into 45, you get 1, 2, 1, 5. Example, find the sum of first 123 natural numbers, even natural numbers, even natural numbers. So first, even natural numbers, which are the even natural numbers, even natural numbers are now which are the even natural numbers first you have to write even natural numbers the smallest even number is 2 then 4 6 8 and so on now here first is we have to prove the given list of a number that is sequence is an AP so First D1, D1 is equal to K2 minus T1, that is 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. 
second d2 difference common difference t3 minus t2 that is 6 minus 4 which is 2 so here d is equal to 2 is constant therefore given sequence is an it is an arithmetic progression once we have proved that the given sequence is an arithmetic progression we can write the whatever requirement is to find the sum of the n terms so here first term a is equal to a is equal to 2 common difference d is also 2 you have to find the sum of 123 Natu even natural numbers so n is equal to 123 we have to find s 123 so we know the formula we have the formula sn is equal to n upon 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d now we we'll put substitute the values in the given formula so S123 is equal to S123 N is 123 is equal to 123 upon 2 bracket 2 into A A is equal to 2 plus N is 123 minus 1 into D is also now let us simplify this. So 123 upon 2 into 2 to the 4 plus 123 minus 1 is 122 into 2 which is equal to 123 upon 2 into 4 plus 2 44 which is equal to 123 upon 2 into 244 plus 4 is 2 248 divide 2 1 are 2 2 1 are 2 2 2 the 4 2 4 the 8 123 into 124 multiply this two numbers you will get the answer as After multiplying these two numbers, we we'll get the answer 15252. Third example. Find the sum of all even numbers between 1 to 350. Now, even numbers are the multiples of 2. So, between, between 1 to 350, which are the numbers which are even numbers? So, first the even numbers are even numbers are between 1 to 350 so 1 is not a even number so 2 first even number then 4 6 8 okay then 350 between so before 350 you should not include 350 it is between so 349 is not a even number, it is an odd number. So last number is 348. This is the last number. So first we we'll check whether the sequence is AP. Let D1 is equal to T2 minus T1, that is 4 minus 2, 2. D2 is equal to T3 minus T2. 6 minus 4 which is 2 so here d is equal to 2 is constant therefore it is an ap now in this sequence the first term is given as a which is 2 common difference d is also so, last term is given Pn, this is the last term Pn, which is equal to 348. So, first we have to find N. 
Now to find n, we should use the formula Tn. So first we will find Tn by using the formula Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into b. Therefore, Tn is given. Now here n is not given. Tn value is 340. A is equal to a is equal to 2 plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 2. Therefore, 348, this 2 will jump, it will become minus 2 is equal to n minus 1 into 2. Therefore, 348 minus 2 is 346 is equal to n minus 1 into 2. Therefore, n minus 1 is equal to 346 upon 2, which is equal to 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2, 2 sevens are 40, 2 threes are 6, 173. Therefore, n is equal to 173 plus 1, which is equal to 174. Now, value of n is 174. Now, n is equal to 174. A is equal to 2. D is equal to 2. We can find the last term is also there. Tn is 170. Tn last term is 3. 48. Now, here first term and last term is given. So, we can use that alternate formula which is there for finding the sum of AP. AP that is SN is equal to N upon 2 bracket first term A plus last term P. So, this formula should be used. We will use when first and the last term is given and you have to find the sum of N terms. So, S174 is equal to 174 upon 2 into a, A is equal to 2 plus 348. That is 174 upon 2 into 350. 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2, 2 sevens are 14, 2 fives are 10. So 174 into 175. Now multiply. These two numbers, after multiplying 174 into 175, you will get the answer 30450. This is sum of 174 terms, even numbers between 1 and 350. So, all sum of even numbers between 1 to 350 is 30. Four zero five. For the example, A and A P nineteen term is fifty two and thirty eight term is one twenty eight. Find the sum of first fifty six term. Now this is the this sum is important sum which we have to do in different way. So, first thing, what is given? It is given that the sequence is an AP. So, 19th term of an AP, T19 is equal to 52. Then, T38 term is 128. You have to find, find S56. Now we know Tn is given here, so we we'll use the formula for an AP for arithmetic progression. Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Therefore, for N is equal to 19, T19 we we'll put here, N is equal to 19 in this Tn formula. T19 is equal to a plus 19 minus 1 into D. So, T19 is given as 52. So, 52 is equal to 
a plus 19 minus 1 is 18d equation number first also for n is equal to 38 38 term is given so t 38 is equal to a plus n is 38 minus 1 into d therefore t 38 t 38 is 128 is equal to a plus 38 minus 1 is 37 d now we will take these two equations the equations is two variables a and d together a plus 18 d is equal to 52 first equation and a plus 37 d is equal to 128 equation number second now here we will add this two equation instead of subtracting we have to add this equation since our target is s56 so if we we'll add these three equations we will get 2a a plus a 2a after adding the equation add equation 1 plus 2 18 plus 37 is equal to 55 d is equal to 52 plus 128 is equal to 180 equation number third now our we have to find s 56 so for n is equal to 56 first sn formula sn is equal to n upon 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d now we we'll put s is equal n is equal to 56 therefore s 56 is equal to 56 upon 2 bracket 2a plus 56 minus 1 n is equal to 56 minus 1 into d therefore 50, s 56 is equal to 56 upon 2 into 2a plus 55d 2a plus 55d now this 2a plus 55d from equation 3 is equal to 180 so we will replace that therefore s 56 is equal to 56 upon 2 from third equation you get 2a plus 55d is equal to 180 now we can divide here 2 ones are 2, 2 nines are 80, 0, 0 is 0. So 56 as 56 is equal to 56 into 90. Therefore, sum of 56 terms is equal to multiply 96 is 54, carry 5, 95 is 45 plus 5 is 50 that is 5040. Fifth example, complete the activity to find the sum of natural numbers from 1 to 140 which are divisible by 4. The activity is given in practice set 3.3. Fifth question, you have to complete that activity. So first let us Write the numbers, natural numbers which are divisible by 5 from 1 to 140. So, first number which is divisible by 4 from 1, smallest number. 1 is not divisible, 2, 3, 4 is the smallest number which is divisible by 4. Then 8, 12, 16 and so on. The last number which is divisible by 4 is 139 is not divisible, 138, 137, 136. Last two digit of the number are divisible by 4. So the number is divisible by 4. So 136 is divisible by 
4. Now, let us prove that the given sequence is 18. So, first d1 difference d1 is equal to 8 minus 4 that is 4. d2 is also 12 minus 8 which is equal to 4. So, d is constant. Here d is equal to 4 is constant. Therefore, it is an arithmetic progression. Once the sequence is arithmetic progression, so we can write this is t1 first term, t2, this is the last term tn. So, a is equal to 4, b is equal to 4, then last term tn is equal to 136. First, we have to find n to find sum of n natural numbers. How many numbers are there from 1 to 140 which are divisible by 4? So, first we will find n by using the formula of tn. tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into b. So, tn is given as 136 is equal to a is 4 plus n. We have to find n minus 1 into d is also 4. Therefore, 136 minus 4 is equal to n minus 1 into 4. Therefore, 132, 136 minus 4 is 132 is equal to n minus 1 into 4. Therefore, n minus 1 is equal to 132 divided by 4. So, 4 1s are 4, 4 3s are 12, 1 carry. 4, 3, 12, 12, that is 33. So, therefore, n is equal to 33 plus 1, which is equal to 34. So, there are 34 natural numbers which are divisible by 4 from 1 to 140. a is equal to a is the first term, 4, d is the common difference is also 4 n is equal to 34, we have to find S, 34, sum of first 32, 4 numbers which are divisible by 4, natural number between 1 to 140. So, we know the formula Sn is equal to, the formula is n upon 2 bracket into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Therefore, S34 is equal to 34 upon 2, 34 upon 2 bracket 2 into A is equal to 4 plus N is 34 minus 1, N is equal to 34 minus 1 into D is also 4. Put the values in the formula, therefore S34 is equal to 34 upon 2 into 8 plus 4 to the 8 plus 33 into 4. Therefore, S34 is equal to 34 upon 2 into 8 plus 4 3 are 12, 1 carry, 4 3 are 12 plus 130, 132. Therefore, S34 is equal to 34 upon 2 into 140. 8 plus 132 is 140. 2 1 are 2, 2 7 is 14. Now multiply S34 is equal to 34 into 70. Therefore, sum of S34 is equal to two three eight zero. So sum of the natural number which are divisible by four from one to one forty is two three eight zero.